I think the media is in for a rude awakening because things are going to get really ugly on the other end of this. The me it's getting like, for example, I, I think CNN's beginning to realize this. Let's take a quick example. Let's begin with Joan Walsh. So Joan Walsh is a contributor on CNN. And she says a lot of egregious things on a fairly regular basis. She's featured very often in the Things I Hate segment. So Joan Walsh tweeted out a series of attacks on Kyle Kashuv. And Kyle Kashuv is, uh, is, is one of the Parkland survivors. And there are a bunch of people who decided to attack Kashuv on Twitter. Among them was Fred Gutenberg, whose daughter was killed in the attack. Kyle had tweeted out something like, this entire thing has become really politicized and is no longer about saving lives. And Fred Gutenberg, whose daughter died in the attack, he says, no, 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 it's all about saving lives. Well, obviously, Kyle wasn't talking to him. Kyle was talking to David Hogg and the rest of the Parkland survivors who have been on TV routinely pushing gun control. He was saying that the astroturfed boycott against Laura Ingram is not about saving lives. It's obviously about political gain. Well, Joan Walsh liked all of these tweets, right? Joan Walsh liked all of these tweets. And then Kyle Cashew responded, just so everyone knows, CNN would never take a side. And then he tweeted at Joan Walsh. And Walsh responded by insulting him, saying, good luck handling your stress. So let's use the left standard here for a second. Right? Let's, he said, wow, Kyle Kashuv, are you really policing? Are you really policing the likes of a grieving Parkland father who lost his daughter? Good luck handling your stress, Kyle. That's what Joan Walsh tweeted out. Okay, can you imagine if this were reversed for a second? Imagine if I tweeted at David Hogg, good luck handling your stress, David. Okay, the boycotts would be imminent, right? I mean, this would be, this would be an attack on, on him. Well, now you have Joan Walsh, a CNN contributor, who is attacking Kyle Cashew, and nothing. No boycotts, no nothing. Well, so here are the list of CNN's advertisers. You want to play this game? If people really want to play this game, we can play this game. Right? We can boycott CNN's advertisers. They are there for everyone to see. We can see all of the various advertisers. Okay, their top advertisers in February 2018 or a Tesla, T-Mobile, Geico, Progressive, Cumira, Nutrisystem, BMW, NordVPN, AT&T, and Good, GoodRx. Okay, those were their top advertisers. So, should we boycott all of those? I'm not saying we should. I don't think we should. I think it's really bad for discourse in America when we astroturf boycotts against advertisers based on a fake outrage. Okay, based on a, based on a level of outrage that is completely disproportionate to the crime that has been committed. So I think that Joan Walsh's terrible, horrible crime here is really so terrible and horrible. No, I don't. I think Joan Walsh is obnoxious. So I think CNN's advertisers ought to pay monetarily for something Joan Walsh said that's dumb on Twitter. No, I don't. And she hasn't even apologized. 